Hi, welcome to another High College review. In this video, I will be giving you my review of the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5. I can already say that they are my favorite shoes of all time. Hi, Dane here from Hikeaholics, giving you gear reviews and hike videos from our little country, the Netherlands. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking this link here. It really helps us a lot to grow our channel. Now onto the review of the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5. I bought these shoes about a year ago after watching many videos of true hikers in America wearing these shoes. So I had to try them and see what all the hype was about. I don't use them for running, but for hiking. And after a lot of kilometers on these shoes, it's time for a review. So what are the specs? The shoes come in at 295 grams per shoe. They have a zero drop and the stack height is 25 millimeters. The midsole has a stone guard and the outsole has max track rubber with trail claw. The upper has a durable quick dry air mesh. And in the front and in the back, they have gator traps. So you can attach your gators to them. So how do these shoes fit? My normal shoe size is 41 and a half and I have these shoes in 42, so a little bit bigger. I like my shoes a little bit bigger so my toes don't bump against the front of the shoe. What do I like about these shoes? The foot shaped toe box, of course. The reason I bought these shoes is because of the foot shaped toe box. My feet are quite wide and in regular shoes, my toes tend to rub against each other which hurts and leaves blisters. And when I tried these on for the first time, I was sold immediately. My toes can spread like normal and when I'm walking in these shoes, it felt so normal, my feet didn't hurt. They didn't even hurt after walking for more than 20 kilometers, so that's perfect. I like that they have great stability and grip even on wet surfaces. I never slipped once in these shoes. I like the comfort. They are so comfortable and I can wear these all day if I want it. The 25 mm stack height gives great cushioning. So what don't I like about this shoe? This thing here in the back of the heel is the only thing I don't like about these shoes. The reason it's there is to provide more surface grip when running. It flattens out when hitting the ground in an angle. But when used for hiking, some sand can launch in the air hitting you in the back, which is not comfortable, of course. So my overall conclusion. I absolutely love these shoes and I would definitely recommend these shoes to everyone, especially for people who have wider feet and who like the freedom in their toes when hiking. I can't wait until the Lone Peak 5.0 gets released in a couple of weeks. I have to try them and I'll be giving you a review of that one as well, of course. So what do you think about the Ultra Lone Peaks 4.5? What do you like and what don't you like? What's your favorite trail shoe at this moment? Let us know in the comments. And if you have any questions regarding this shoe, don't hesitate to ask us. And if you'd like to see more gear views like this, please like this, please subscribe to our channel. And as we say goodbye in the Netherlands, doei! See you next time.